This is my navigation palette, and it looks like I've only got a few classes in my file. Actually, I've got a filter that I've created, and I'm filtering my classes just to see my detail information. I can also change it to look at my structural information. And if I look at all classes, then I can see all of the classes in the entire project, and there are quite a lot of them. So this is a concept that Victorworks has got called class and layer filtering. So I can create a filter. I can look at invisible classes. I can look at recently used classes. I can look at assigned classes. Those are ones that have been used. Um, and I can also create these filters. So I can just look at my structural classes or just my detail classes. It is really handy and it is very quick if you use these. You can also create layer filters. And here I've created filters just to look at my current projects. Now you might notice I've got floor one, floor one option two, option three, and each of these is slightly different. Here I can create a filter which only finds my current layers. So it will actually just get rid of everything that I don't need at the moment. And you'll notice that it's just my model. So all my details are gone, all my other options are gone. And that's a really handy way of me just being able to see just the classes and just the layers that I want. So that's a really handy way for me just to see the layers that I want because I've removed all of the other layers. If you want to see the whole story, don't forget, go to my knowledge base. You'll find the entire movie on layer and class filtering on my knowledge base website.